So in places where the baby can be transferred from facility to hospital, uh, this ink blanket is very important. This is a proven uh, innovation that has been tested in around 75 countries and 75 hospitals. Of course, in Uganda, it was tested in Insambia Hospital, and here we're having it for Moyo Hospital. And uh, we've been doing this into our train to use this thing. Uh, again, they are going to support the hospital in doing this even in the facility. When funding allows, we will be able to get more. But this one we are giving to the hospital on demand that they will be able to support our children and the women in this district. PISA has done a lot of things, I know, with the support of the district and the health facilities and also our village health team. We've been able to train the nurses, midwives and clinicians. We've done cancer screenings together with the district health team. Uh, we did a lot of programs for identifying early marriages and early pregnancies that were cancelled. We have been running a lot of programs, but right now we have a program of supporting the malaria reduction activities under USAID PMI. We have done community dialogues with the communities. We are doing household assessments to see that we have households that are malaria smart to be able to uh, reduce the malaria rate and also looking at pregnant and malaria in pregnancy. <coughs> These are all things we have done. And doctor, we are grateful to you. We are grateful to the government of Uganda and the Moyo District local government. We truly appreciate the effort of Madiro and KBF Canada. These are our donors. The Child Health Fund and also uh, the Bathing Kit Foundation of Australia who are able to support us with these things and ask for more. And we pray for more collaboration and partnership with the district and other partners to be able to support us to reduce the maternal and neonatal death. And then uh, in the picture, we have a program of continuing uh, climatic resilient maternal and newborn health services. And we have any plan to renovate the ceiling of Gwere Health Center too, with the demand from them. So we'll be able to work with the district and the uh, health team plus the engineer to be able to see that Gwere Health Center becomes a better place to give service. Our main source of these items is the National Medical Store. But the piece has come in to supplement the effort of National Medical Store. And now with this supplement, I think we are going to register some improvement. Because like, for example, Metro Health Center 3, they have given us BP machine, which we are going to um, measure people's pressure, and it will run, enable us to diagnose those who have pressure, and we put them on the huh? When you go to Metro, for example, IV attestionate, we are left with the only 25. That means apparently the next few days we shall have no idea to come because the population is high and the demand for this item is so high. <coughs> That's why I think the IPs have come to supplement the effort of national medical medical stores uh, so as to enable the service providers to provide quality service. To the what they've given us is going to supplement uh, what national medical stores what joint medical stores already gives us. And this will go a long way in improving the quality of care we give for the mothers and the newborns. Uh, this is not the first time. Uh, remember last year we had the capacity building from PISA in terms of training our health workers uh, on uh, strategic care for the mothers and the newborns. And also, uh, integrated management of childhood illnesses. So we want to thank them so much. We remain uh, very proud of them and we shall continue to collaborate as far as the health of the mothers and the babies. The results they have donated to us. You can see the assorted uh, items. We have BP machine, uh, we have gloves, mama kitty and, and so forth. Uh, you are aware that uh, we normally get our main supply from national medical store and at times this item run out of stock. So this kind of help from partners is to build such kind of gaps. So we are really very grateful, we know uh, these items will be put into good use. As you could see some of the items that can be engraved were, were engraved. That is to, to prevent temptation. Mm? But I'm sure, uh, I'm sure of my health workers, theft cases will not be there. These items will be put 
to the right use. All what we are praying for is uh, pieces will not stop at this. They should continue because for 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 us to to be healthy, it requires multi stakeholders uh, approach. We need to work hand in hand, and in that way, our community can be healthier and they will be able to to indulge themselves in an income generating activities. Uh, we are so grateful as a district uh, because uh, this kind of donation will help our young born baby so much and I know that uh, our DHO and assistant DHOs will direct all these don don donating facilities all it will reach the health centers and uh, they will put in, uh, in the use and I know that uh, all the health facility will improve. If you see the Pisa Uganda, they are even training this. Uh, our our nurses, they are training. They are doing a lot of activities here in Moyo district. I'm calling upon all the donors also support, especially the health facilities, so that uh, it will improve. Our health, especially in Moyo district. Oh, when, when you, you know that uh, 